so far so good so we move on with the uh, January 2018 so today you expect all the 50 questions there are many but in it comes in tens so let's move from 11 to 20 if a is equal to this uh, the set containing 3 6 and 9 as element then the number of subset of a is so we know the number of subset of a set is given by 2 exponent n so the given set is this and it has three elements therefore n is equal to 3 so if n equal 3 then we substitute into this to get this but you should know that 2 exponent 3 is the same as 2 times 2 times 2 which is 4 times 2 and that will give you 8 in which of the following Venn diagrams is the region A intersection B prime shaded so let's have our inversor set here with a rectangle then we have this set B now the complement of set B is the green region these are the complement of set B so B complement is this region now let's look for set A set A is this set is this set now we want to find set A intersection B prime so that will be the intersection of the green region and the yellow region so this particular region here therefore the correct option will be this option B you can see that the A can come by this to meet this so the shaded region is this the option B now let's move on to the third question the 13th question which is this if the universal set u is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 and h is equal to 3 4 6 then h prime h prime is the complement of h so the complement of h are elements in the universal set that cannot be found in the set h so let's cancel out the elements in set h that are here so let's cancel them out cancel them out so the remaining are the h prime so h prime will be equal to one two five therefore the correct answer is d item 14 refers to the following venn diagram so we have this venn diagram in the venn diagram u is equal to students who play games h is equal to students who play hockey and V is equal to student who play volleyball. The number of students in each set is indicated. How many students do not play volleyball? So do not play volleyball is this region and uh, this region. So we take away this and this. So we add this and this. And that will be equal to 8. And the correct option is this. The simple interest on $600 for four years at 5% per annum is. So we know the simple interest formula is simple interest is equal to principal times rate times time. So we just fix in these values the principal is the 600 the rate is 5% is the same as 5 out of 100 then the number of years is 4 years now this is the same as all the numerators multiplying because this is the same as over 1 this is the same as over 1 
to multiply the numerators and the denominators differently we get this expression so the correct answer will be 600 times 5 times 4 over 100 the option A so we have this 3 whole number 1 over 4 percent of 500 so this is what we want to simplify now something percent means that whole thing over, out of 100 so 3 whole number 1 over 4 out of 100 now 100 will go into 500 5 times so we are left with 3 whole number 1 over 4 times 5 dollars now what do we do next we can change this to improper fraction to get this someone can also decide to do it a different way but at the end you get the same result if you do it well so 13 over 4 we can multiply 13 by 5 to get 65 because this one is the same as over 1 now we know 4 by 16 will give us 64 so this will be the same as 16 whole number 1 out of 4 which is the same as 16.25 Mrs. Jones has 200 US dollars to exchange for TT dollars the bank gives her 6.2 TT for 1 US dollars and charges 2.5 TT dollars for the transaction. Mr. Jones receives. So let's go. We know that this is the exchange rate. 1 US dollars equals 6 TT dollars. So we need to find how much 200 US dollars is in. When you convert it to TT dollars, how much is it? So that would be by multiplying both sides of this by 200. And that will give us this 1240 TT dollars. It's equivalent to 200 dollars. Now the bank, the bank charges 2.5, so we need to subtract. Subtract 2.5 out of 40, you get 37.5. So that will give us 1237.5 and that will be the first option then let's go to 18 a man's basic wage for a 40 hour week is 160 dollars he is paid five dollars per hour for overtime if he works if he works six and a half hours overtime in a certain week his wage for that week is what so you know his wage for that week will be the base the base wage basic wage plus the uh, the wage he earned working over time so the basic wage is 160 dollars then we have five dollars times the the rate times the number of hours now let's go depends on how you want to do it there's, an, there's another way of doing it you can multiply 5 by 6 then 5 by half you know 5 by 6 will give you 30 then this by half will give you 2.5 which is 32.5 add it to the basic pay to get 192.5 dollars The 19th question. A dinner at a restaurant was advertised at $60 plus 18% tax. The total bill for this dinner was. So that would be the $60 plus the tax. The tax is the tax rate is 18%. So let's multiply 18% by 60 and add it to the, the price of the dinner. So that will be 60 plus 18 out of 10 because this will cater for this times 6. 
so now let's multiply 6 by 18 because this is the same as over 1 so if you multiply 6 by 18 you get 108 out of 10 now something out of 10 is the same as moving the decimal point back once so that will give us 10.8 now we can add 10.8 to 60 to get 70.8 and the man will pay 70.8 that will be the total bill a store offers a discount of 10 percent to customers who spend more than 20 dollars so if a customer's total bill is 80 what will be what will he actually pay so if so long as the the amount you spend over there is more than 20 then you you earn a discount of 10 percent so 80 is it more than 20 yes of course so we apply the discount so applying the discount we get 100 minus 10 so instead of you paying 100 percent of the of the price you will not pay that you pay 90 percent because we take off 10 percent discount means you are taking off that percentage so that will give you 90 percent of 80 and that will be equal to 90 out of 100 times 80 and now you can cancel this and this and cancel this and this so we are left with 9 over 1 that is 10 we're going to 90 once then 9 times 8 will be 72 so that is the the bill that you actually pay in other ways you can also charge 10 percent of of 80 so 10 out of 100 10 out of 100 times 80 you calculate 10 out of 100 times 80 and that will give you that will give you eight eight dollars then subtract eight dollars from 80 and you get 72 dollars so they are all the same process they are all going to give you the same result which is 72 so either I use this approach or use this so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe now uh, if you can still see this red thing here it means you have not yet subscribed so you just have to click it so that the next upload see it is still red you have to click it so that if i upload the next video you'll be informed click the bell icon too so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe